efficient market theory. Now, this theory is based on the information provided in the market. Efficient market theory implies that the market will react quickly to new information, good or bad news is evaluated relative to what investors expect. So any information that comes into the market and it is new, investors will react whether it is good or bad. There are multiple events that affect the firm share price. So finding the effect of net income can be hard. Efficient market should react within a narrow window of few days surrounding the net income announcement dates. So it's very important to know that market always, if it is efficient market, it will only react to the new information within a short period of time. Researchers use the debt income was reported by financial media such as the Wall Street Journal to avoid looking at the volume of shares traded too late or too early. Use MD and A have to separate firm specific and market wide factors that affect the share price. So there are factors actually that affect the share price. One can be the investors uh, earnings. Two can be the weather condition. Three can be the economy of the country. Four, the product itself. So they are all factors which actually surround the price of the share. Environment in which relevant parameters have known values, risk environment, risk environment in which certain future events have probable outcomes. Uncertainty, environment in which it is impossible to assess likelihood of various future events, decision environment. So these are environments that you will expect in the efficient market theory. The risk environment, the uncertainty in the environment, risk versus uncertainty. Risk must take decision for which the outcome is not known with certainty. Can list all possible outcomes and assign probabilities to the outcomes. That is based on risk outcome. Uncertainty cannot list all possible outcomes, cannot assign probabilities to the outcomes. So when you talk about uncertainty, you can't actually ascertain, you can't determine the outcome. But using probability, the risk one can use, but in the uncertainty, they can use the probability. Certainty is an environment in which future outcomes or state of nature are known, e.g. investors in bank, foreign direct investment, there is certainty regarding future payment on majority. So they are aware, they are clearly informed of what will happen in the market. Investment in shares is a risk. Investment in share fetching return higher than FD fixed deposit in another two years is uncertainty. So we are talking about when you're making investment, you look at the risk uh, involved in a particular investment. If you look at the deposits, you're just depositing your money. In the deposits, the risks are low. But if you are investing in shares, the risks are high. But we normally say in investment, the higher the risk, the higher the returns. The lower the risk, the lower the returns. So information in market is critical for any investment. Efficient market theory. Decision usefulness theory. Single person decision theory. Accounting information used to update expected payoff applies to share markets, market efficiency with respect to public information. New information is rapidly priced, applicable for disclosure, summing up the role of accounting information 
we dictate the deformatives of deformativeness of price. So it's important to know that information will dictate the prices of every share in the market. When the information are updated, up to date, it will help the investors to make a formative action, which is actually critical for selling a product. So accounting information gives the rightful information in giving the composition of the rightful information for the prices of shares. When we make decisions or choose between options, we try to obtain a good an outcome as possible according to some standard of what is good or bad. The choice of value standard for decision making and for life is the subject of moral philosophy. So anytime you're making decision, have this in mind. Decision theory assumes that such standard is, is at hand and proceed to express this standard in the precise and useful way and usefulness theory reference so we are looking at what has been happening accounting research shows that security prices do not respond to accounting information the ball and brown study in 1968 provided the first solid evidence of security market reaction to an earnings annou announcement in essence of information is useful in the in is useful if it changes investors belief the purpose of this chapter is to show that accounting information is useful for decision making so accounting information is critical in decision making in 1968 the board and prom gave a study which gave the clear evidence that when you give accounting information, market reacts. Over the years, accounting research has shown that security prices do not respond to accounting information. Security prices do respond to accounting information. The first evidence of this was provided by a Paul and Brown study in 1968. So it is a clear observation that from accounting research, it has been shown that security prices, the share prices, do respond to accounting information. Since this initial study, there have been a lot of other studies that have documented additional aspects of security market response. If accounting information was not useful for decision making, then when users receive this information, there will be no revision of belief, hence no triggering of buyer and seller decision. But it was found out that when this information are released, it triggers the belief of buyer and seller, which means there will be no trading volume or price changes, but this is not the case. In all essence of information, in essence, this is not the case. In essence, information is useful if it changes investors' belief, which means it leads to buy and sell decision, which leads to price changes that will be useful in making investment decisions. And this is critical. Look at when companies are giving out their financial statement. People react, investors react. That's why accounting information is useful for decision making. Determines the share price, determines the return of investors. Decision making under uncertainty. The decision maker knows with certain certainty the consequences of every alternative or decision choice.